Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Patreon patrons, uh, YouTube subscribers, and generally anyone who just stumbles upon my little videos here. Welcome to another edition of How to Art. And in this video, someone had suggested or requested that I show how to draw um, <laughs> sexy ladies as uh, as the artist's um, uh, Beehawk and I guess generally Johnston Blackhorse, I do uh, draw uh, very voluptuous and sensual female figures. And uh, someone had requested um, how I go about uh, drawing said figures. So I guess um, I'll give you a little insight into my process of how I do that. Let's see. Oh, did I have any? Yeah, I have some figure drawings in here. But um, I'll show you like um, what my uh, thought process is when I go about uh, drawing a female figure. And in uh, uh, doing so, you want to get um, uh, used to, uh, I guess, um, plotting out. Um, plotting out figure gestures. That all depends on like, um, what I want my female character to be. Uh, look like or what I want her to be doing and sometimes it um, it all depends but uh, what you want really want to get used to is just um, drawing uh, female figures from all sorts of angles like here I just drew a really quick sketch of a uh, gesture of a female character just standing there hand on one hip and uh, just drawing like a generic uh, hourglass figure which is more or less the staple of um, what an attractive female figure looks like But uh, an attractive female figure like uh, can range from all various forms. Uh, lately, I've gotten into the habit of just drawing very voluptuous um, female figures uh, under the uh, pseudonym Beehawk, and those have been going pretty, selling pretty well on the auction sites I post them on. And here I've drawn a seated figure just sitting there. More or less uh, just sitting there being cute or whatever. And, you know, just uh, do some warm-up sketches and I'll go over the process and uh, give you some insight. Now, when drawing a figure, like, um, I like to just start out with, like, a basic framework. Like, here you can see, like, I drew, like, little... Uh, let me, let me zoom in. Drawn like little uh, orbs here for the shoulders. Little connection there for like the, um, well, the, what would you call that muscle? The trapezius? Tra trapezius muscle? Uh, I, I suck at freaking, uh, 
I'm I'm all right at drawing anatomy, but I suck at just uh, knowing the names of stuff. But um, when drawing like a solid figure, like you want to uh, get a solid idea of um, the spine, the curvature of the spine. Now this is going to be like a kind of like a sketch of a figure from the back. So the spine more or less follows like an S type pattern. Like here, the um, this is the top of the neck where it connects to the to the skull, and that will have somewhat of a indent like that. And this is the kind of like the bottom of the neck. And generally, like if you look at um, swimsuit magazines or muscle magazines, you'll notice that like there's a small bit of a uh, arch or a hump there. And that's, uh, that's like the uh, bottom of the neck or like uh, where the the neck begins from the uh, from the rib cage, and just draw like a little oval for the rib cage, and then from here it um, curves out like that. So I'll draw that in, and then it uh, swoops out like that a little bit. Don't want to draw too too long, uh, but if you do, that um, kind of more or less indicates where the tail goes if you're drawing like um, furry or anthropomorphic characters. But um, for this, like we'll just kind of keep it human form. And here I'm drawing the hips. And from the spine, like I'll kind of extend that and tuck that back in just to indicate like the um, where the uh, crevasse of the uh, uh, posterior is. And from this crevasse, like I'll kind of arc it back in a little bit. And these are the dimples of the, um, the back region. Sorry, I'm trying to keep this as more or less G-rated as possible with my language, which is... Um, kind of weird because after coming fresh coming out of prison like I swore a lot because like in in prison when you're surrounded around a lot of prisoners like you just speak in expletives just like expletive this expletive that and coming out of prison like it, it was a bad habit to like break to just just talk without swearing so much because like um expletives kind of come um kind of become uh, your um, adjectives in a way. Because like um, when you're trying to explain something, either it's like really good, you say it's effing good, or if it's like really bad, you say it's really crappy, only you don't use the word crappy. Anyway, yeah, so like uh, getting back out, just trying to learn my um, decent vocabulary again in order to uh, converse in a... Uh, sensible or um, civilized, <laughs> civilized manner. Like, trust me, like coming out of prison, there's there's like a lot of bad habits to break, and um, maybe I should do like little story time, like um, uh, YouTube videos, illustrated story time YouTube videos. That tends to be pretty popular nowadays, and that's something I guess I could get into. I hope um, uh, you're able to glean something off of me just uh, sketching sketching this figure here. It's like um, I, I'm I'm really good at uh, sketching, as you can see, but I have a hard time trying to explain things as I go. So I'm sorry if I'm not being very informative, but I'm hoping. There are a lot of visual learners out there who can just uh, look at what I'm doing and just understand where I'm coming from. Okay. Now, if you're able to follow along, like I drew like a 
to to get like a good solid figure, you want to like um, have a good understanding of where the spine goes, and just everything more or less branches out from that. So from the spine, like uh, you can draw the shoulders, and from here, like you from this curve here, you can get a good sense of where the rib cage ends and where the waist is. And from this curve right here, you can get a good idea of where the uh, pelvic bone is just to flesh out the uh, pelvic area. And from that, you can um, sense where the um, other uh, lower extremities and upper extremities come from. Just uh, th this, this all comes from like a lot of study and basic understanding of uh, anatomy books and muscle magazines, swimsuit magazines, and um, it uh, just uh, goes along with the whole, like, um, you, you just got to practice every day, study every day, and I recommend that you buy, like, artistic anatomy books and just look through them and um, maybe even go a step further than I did and actually learn the names of the freaking muscles and the anatomy and junk like that. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, like I'll just uh, continue going and just uh, give you little pointers and insight. And sometimes when I'm trying to draw like a kind of like a sassy pose or a very like um, um, provocative pose, like a good uh, general rule to keep in mind is that when you're like arching or like um, skewing like the shoulders and or like the angles of the body like uh say if i want to draw like one shoulder higher than the other because maybe this sh shoulder is um like the female figure is having or, or propping her hand on her hip so this shoulder would go up and this shoulder would go down so kind of mimicking like the previous uh, pose we had on this page I'm just going to go ahead and have this female character just having her hand out just in a somewhat of a uh, posture. Maybe she's holding something, maybe a snow globe, I don't know, snowball, or could be anything like maybe a wine glass, but uh, yeah, it, it doesn't matter. Like. Um, but um, let's say, like, the because of that pose, like, um, her shoulders are slanted, like, um, this way. So then, like, a general rule to keep in mind is that the hips would be slanted the other way. So this hip would be higher. And another uh, thing to keep in mind is that the hip that um, is, like, skewed the highest, that's usually the load-bearing hip so like say all her weight is being um, distributed on this leg so like that means that this other leg would more or less either be kind of draped off to the side maybe it's just kind of like dangling out there um, not really supporting all of her weight or much weight just there as like a bit of balance but for the most part if they if this hip is going to be higher that's the hip that's going to be attached to the leg that's supporting all or the majority of her weight and these are um uh little details that you pick up along the way when you're studying um human anatomy and just uh, looking at all the gestures and poses that the human body makes especially if you're um, looking through, um, like I said, swimsuit magazines, muscle magazines, um, uh, fitness magazines, that, that sort of thing. And, uh, you take note of, uh, what the human, uh, figure looks like when it's doing or performing different, um, uh, moves or gestures. And some, uh, artistic anatomy books will also uh, go into some detail about this and give you little insights or ideas of what the human body naturally does when it's performing a certain action. And as an animator, for all those aspiring animators, like this is a uh, good information to um, to take in. 
because it'll help you in the long run when you're animating from one pose to the next pose. You know, like what what does the human body do when it's uh, attempting to, I guess, uh, leap into the air or like um, when it's uh, shifting its body weight from one foot to the next foot in order to get from pose one to pose two. And these are um, uh, good notes to just like keep in mind and just uh, practice in your own time and just fill, like I said, like your sketchbook with all these uh, different uh, poses and uh, um, figure references when you get a chance. So like uh, grab a fitness magazine, muscle magazine, swimsuit magazine, any sort of magazine like that uh, has some sort of activity in there. And um, there, there was a time where I also had like a few runner's magazines just to get the idea or get the sense of like what the human figure looks like when it's in mid motion or mid stride as a uh, figure is running. And this is uh, just stuff that you just have to teach yourself along the way. And it's not really um, um, uh, poured into, I guess, uh, gone over in detail in a bunch of these, the art, art books that you may get. And because it's, it's just a lot to write about, like... Um, Artistic anatomy books are just there to more or less teach you anatomy and they don't really go into a lot of detail of like uh, of like um, all these uh, all the uh, topics that I'm uh, talking about right now. So it just takes a lot of like um, self uh, study and just like taking taking it upon yourself to just like go and just um, get some of the source material, like I said, like the muscle magazines and such, and just going over it yourself and just um, having a really astute and, uh, I guess, um, um, detailed mind to just like absorb all this d visual data, I guess, and just um, practice it and um, practice drawing it, uh, assimilate it into your mind, and understand um, what uh, what the human body does naturally when it's performing various actions. So right here, I I, I don't know what I'm making this human figure do. I'm just like uh, drawing the figure just to draw the figure. Just to, you know, do that little bit of practice. So I understand. Where, where things go in certain poses. And doing like rough little anatomy sketches like this just really comes from a lot of practice. There's no like a secret technique or anything that I could really teach any of you just to um, like make you a better artist overnight. Like what it really is, is just like a lot of practice, like I keep saying. And then you'll also hear that from other artists and other um, anatomy books that you'll like, um, or how to draw books that you, you'll pick up here and there. It, uh, there is like really no surefire way to just become a magnificent artist overnight. It just really takes a lot of practice, daily practice and a lot of dedication to just keep that up and just got to keep at it. And lo and behold, one day you'll wake up and start doodling and all of a sudden it just starts like uh, pouring onto the page and just like falling out of your pencil. And I, I swear, like, as as long as you'll practice every day, like, um, you will eventually, you know, get better. And, like, some, some days, like, you'll want to just 
just um, quit or uh, <laughs> sorry about that. I got an email notification, <clears throat> but uh, I I urge you to just keep keep at it, keep going, because like um some days you have it, some days you don't. But as long as you get that daily practice in there, just to work out your drawing muscles and get that muscle memory in there. Um, on the days you don't have it, like as long as you get that exercise in there and then like lo and behold, maybe the next day, like your schedules will just start pouring out because, um, simply because you have that muscle memory in your hand, like, uh, your, your hand will just know what to know what to do as long as you can keep that drawing up and keep those drawing muscles active because art is pretty much like uh, pretty much like a muscle and it's something you have to work out every day if you want to get better I hope uh, you're all enjoying some of the uh, bodacious babe figures that I'm just cranking out here. And uh, this is just a more or less general wor warm up to get down to <clears throat> something else. So, like, say I want to um, draw a. Uh, auctioned art piece or a commission or something and I want to uh, draw something let's see I'm, I'm just trying to think off the top of my head right now I don't know uh, let's say I have a seated figure so like right here I'll just go in very lightly and I'm gonna draw Uh, seated female figure, just somewhat maybe sitting on the sitting on the grass or the floor or something like that. So I'll go in pretty lightly. Um, she's propping herself up with her hands. So because of that, her shoulders are going to be going up a bit and they're going to be pretty close to the sides of her head. So you have that little arc right there. <laughs> Sorry, I also got the uh, Punisher playing in the background. And I have to admit, like, uh, the, it's a pretty kick-ass show. Like, the first episode I saw, like, uh, of the Punisher on Netflix, I, w I was hooked because, like, oh my gosh. It's just so freaking brutal. I mean, like, man, this is just so much blood and violence. I love it. It was just, just freaking great. Anyway. Okay, so I got the basic um, outline. Let me just go ahead and darken some of these generic sketch lines that I laid out so far. Okay, so hopefully you can see that. So I have this fe seated female figure. And um, just going to go ahead and like start going in there with, with some details. I don't know what I'll make this figure. Uh, let's just make her just a generic cartoony chick. Some generic cartoony girl. So if you've been following along with some of my other um, drawing tutorials, here I'm put the horizontal line for the eyes and then I'm going to do like a little vertical line for the middle of the face but I'm going to have it follow the contour of this figure's face so as you can see this is like a not a straight on view so it's going to be like a three quarter view of this face so this um, as opposed to the straight on view where like everything was straight I'm keeping in mind the curvature and the angle of the head so as you can see it's like a three quarter turned face with like a bit of a tilt to it kind of like tilted toward the viewer and gonna draw a little 
arcs for the eyes, little arches for the eyebrows, and gonna go in here and just draw a little bump for the nose, and just a cute little cheesy smile. Now, if you've been drawing as long as I have, you just more or less know where like some of these things just fall. Sorry, I had to pause. I thought I heard something. Thought I heard something breathing. It must have been uh, the apartment upstairs or something running some water. And let's uh, go in here and draw somewhat of a buxom chest because I'm a lonely dude and the only um, female interaction I tend to get nowadays is just through the female figures that I draw. Oh my god, that's so sad. But um, hey, that's the life I more or less live right now. Is It's a very lonely existence after having served time for... Yeah. Well, if you've seen my other videos, then like, yeah, you know, like, I don't want to get into detail about it here because this is a this is a drawing tutorial, and we're just here to draw and have fun, right? So as for hair, let's see, I'm going to draw um, hairstyles. Ah, oh, man, sometimes uh, one of the hardest things I uh, run across when drawing like female figures is just hairstyles and one of the things I admit that I lack in um, being able to draw is like just a lot of different hairstyles so like a lot of the times I'll draw like uh, generic bangs with a ponytail or just like just generic just straight flat hair and um, I'm not too big on hairstyles because like um, I haven't studied a little a lot of hairstyle magazines I guess <laughs> so um, just, uh, just do another generic hairdo. Kind of like with the strands of hair coming from off the ear and like the bangs more or less getting tucked behind that ear under this strand of hair. It's one of my favorite go-tos. And detail the, um, Face a little more and uh, just darken in the collarbones just so you can get that sense that her um, arms are a little arched just so you don't get the impression that she has no neck because she has a neck it's right there it's right there come on I don't know what to draw a neck And, um, just, okay, yeah, <laughs> I had to pause again because I heard that sound. Yeah, it is the neighbors just running some water. But, um, I just figured I'd clarify what that, what that sound was because, uh, because I'll go ahead and tell you right now that this apartment is haunted. Had some pretty freaky stuff happen here, like a few years ago. A lot of it's calmed down, though, um, since my sister has been here, because uh, she has some pretty powerful guardian angels, and um, I also have a guardian angel that's been looking out for me for like a uh, past several years, and uh, knowing that she's always there just really, really helps me out a lot, and so I. May, might go over the uh, story of how I came to know my guardian angel and um, maybe be like another like a paranormal video I might do just to elaborate on that. But anyway, just going getting back to the drawing here. 
Now to get this figure, you know, like you have to have a basic sense of anatomy and like understanding of like um, how the the body proportions are and how they fit together. And in order to get that, like I said, you have to do a lot of studying. And uh, if I can just take this video real quick, if I look under there, those are piles and piles of um, artistic reference in the form of muscle magazines, uh, fitness magazines, swimsuit magazines, and other um, publications that feature like the the human body in all its form and such. I also have a another uh, shelf somewhere where I have uh, several art books. Um, don't want to bother getting up and looking over or looking over it because it's just in the middle of doing this quick sketching session, drawing session. So let's uh, I'm go ahead and shade in her pants. Just shade them in real quick. But yeah, like um, to go into a little bit of detail of like uh, some of the um, anatomy know-how I put in here. Like I put in like uh, these little guides. I'm not sure if you can really see them in there, but the little ab. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, little ab muscles or like um, uh, ab structure and like the the edge of or the uh, lines of the rib cage and the hip bones here. And just like knowing where all this uh, anatomical structure falls or where it lies is just like a really, really good to know because it, it all just guides you on um, just if you study it enough and you start drawing a figure just off the top of your head, you'll instinctively know where a lot of this, um, a lot of the details fall. And if you practice it enough, like I said before, like it, it'll seem like all this detail and like these characters will just start falling out of your pencil. And trust me, if you just keep at it, then I promise you that, um, Within time, some maybe even a short amount of time, like you'll even get better. And uh, do I have enough time to? Oh no, <laughs> I thought I could go into like a little like story of how I uh, got uh, very good, like in a short amount of time. But um, I'll probably go over that in another uh, video. But anyway, uh, I'll. Since we've, we're past the 30 minute mark, like I'll call this lesson complete. And uh, this has just been a little how to draw. And, and uh, in this video, we went over a little bit of a female anatomy structure, gesture, gesture studies, um, and um, yeah, gesture sketching, and just went over briefly how and uh, what goes into my thought process in creating a. a drawing such as this that you see here and for those visual learners I hope you were able to get a lot from this video and for those people who um, need a little more guidance I'm sorry in my <laughs> I apologize for my um, somewhat uh, crappy <laughs> um, uh, teaching style because um, I'm not really sure how to go much into detail of how to draw a female figure because, uh, like I said before, I, I can draw anatomy, but I, it, I don't know the uh, scientific words and, like, the exact phrasing of how to go about doing that. Anyway, yeah, I, I hope you enjoyed this how to draw or how to art session. And um, if you like this video, uh, please uh, give me a thumbs up. If uh, there's anything else you want me to go over in detail, like uh, leave a comment or get a hold of me somehow and suggest um, like whatever it is you want me to draw next as uh, this other person did. I, oh shoot, I guess I 
give him a little shout out. Uh, oh, I can't remember the name off the top of my head. Let me let me get his name real quick. Uh, da, 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 da. Come on, hurry up. Oh, okay. Shout out to uh, uh, Skullhead NG for suggesting this uh, uh, topic of uh, for how to art today, and um, he also suggested I do hands. So I'll next for the next video. I'll got to remember to uh, draw some hands. But anyway. To support more content like this and more videos like this, uh, please become a Patreon patron of mine. I'll leave the link in the uh, uh, description section below. And yeah, I guess uh, I'll catch you guys later. Thank you for viewing. See ya. Bye.